German sportswear giant Adidas has cut all business ties with Kanye West after he made a series of anti-Semitic remarks. Ye's recent comments and actions have been unacceptable, hateful, and dangerous, and they violate the company's values of diversity and inclusion, mutual respect, and fairness, Adidas said. The company says they will immediately halt the production of Yeezy products and stop paying the rapper and his companies. I know you have some thoughts about this, Brianna. You were doing some interesting Googling as I, we were preparing for this segment. I was, because look, I, I do think, I, I obviously strongly criticize what Kanye said substantively. There's not really any dilly-dallying to be done about the nature of uh, Kanye West's comments. I have And no one has defended them, no, except, Candace well, Owens, except Candace Owens. Yeah, and frankly, uh, some other conservatives have been asked to condemn the remarks, and they have basically sidestepped away from the question. There, people are still continuing to put out supportive tweets about Kanye West um, from that are, that are very much on the conservative side of the aisle, not that that uh, condemns all Republicans. But I've been interested in this other conversation that started to happen, largely in some black spaces, where there is concern about whether or not Kanye West is being treated differently than other people who've been in similar situations. So I think the first red flag for a lot of folks was J.P. Morgan's choice to no longer bank with Kanye West, which seems like a escalation of the sort that we've never seen despite having gone through an entire me Too scandal with any number of extremely wealthy, high profile people who have been brought to their knees. I've never heard of a bank saying, we're not going to do business with you. Banks are considered to be sort of like uh, taking the train or an airplane. You're not, you don't expect that you're right to, to transact. Well, I don't know about that. We start, I mean, I agree with you. This is a troubling thing to start happening. You know, uh, institutions like banks that are kind of Thought Common to be carriers. New, right, exactly. Uh, but no, we saw that a little bit with uh, no, okay, not specifically with banks, but with financial services. Uh, well, stuff like for, parlor, for and par well, and and also yeah. for uh, for the truckers yes. and for certain fundraisers and things. Yes, but that's shutting down. I'm not saying that was yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, I also yeah. think that that was a problem. Right, but that's shutting down accounts as opposed to saying that you're not allowed to bank with this institution anymore. That's shutting down you know, your ability to yeah. pay for, send money to certain movements and things like that. It's a little different. I mean, people, you have to bank. Being unbanked from a progressive perspective, and obviously Kanye is small as violin, he's certainly not hurting for funds or resources, but from a perspe pro progressive perspective, people can't have, when you can't access um, loans, when you can't put your money into a safe place, when you can't, you know, so many places are cardless and, 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 and don't accept cash. It's a real kind of, um, uh, kind of civil liberties issue to be unbanked. I mean, far right speaking. figures have been shut out of PayPal type things, maybe not banks, but possibly banks. JP by that Morgan. I mean like Richard Spencer and no, like I, I completely explicitly. Agree. I, my, my point yeah. here is not to say that it's Fine when that happens. Yeah, no, this, I know you're that not saying that. This feels like an escalation mm -hmm. of the sort that I think that people should be troubled by. So this Adidas contract, I think, is interesting for similar reasons. And so, so you know, is this the is this something that is kind of par for the course for this kind of company? Now, I do think that we have a longer history of apparel, clothing manufacturers, things like that, distancing themselves from bad actors. But well, and also. Uh, uh, certainly associating themselves with people who at various points have been bad actors, probably. I mean, For, for sure. But here's the question. Some people have chosen, chosen this moment to, to look at how Mel Gibson was treated after his anti-Semitic comments as a point of comparison. And just as a reminder, Mel Gibson was accused of doing many things. He has repeatedly, apparently, uh, referred to Jewish people as oven dodgers, asking Winona Ryder at a party whether or not she was, quote, a quote, unquote, uh, oven Dodger, Ooh. obviously, a really horrific reference to the Holocaust and gas chambers. Um, when he was famously pulled over by the L.A. County Sheriff's Department in July of 2006, um, he, drunk, uh, said to the officer, apropos of nothing, effing Jews. Uh, he did not bleep out the effing, obviously. Uh, the Jews are responsible for all the world's war, war, uh, wars in the world before asking the officer, are you Jew? Um, he's also not minced words it. about black people. You know, there was that recording yeah. that he had when he was in that abusive relationship with his uh, previous partner, and he told her, if you get raped by a pack of N-words, again, he did not say N-words, it'll be your fault. Uh, you know, th those kind of statements. And even after he made those statements, he wasn't dropped by his talent agency, the way that uh, Kanye West has now been dropped by CAA. In fact, he joined CAA after those kind of remarks were made. So the question is, is it that Kanye is just too big a star or are there other factors going on here? But a lot of that, wasn't a lot of the Mel, that Mel Gibson stuff 
Seven, that was many years ago. My guess is if that happened today, it would result in dropping of everything. I mean, there's greater, um, there's greater sensitivity to that kind of stuff. There, there's more intolerance of that kind of stuff in the corporate world, in, uh, in everything. I, I, I don't know. You're, you're trying to well, put it. Maybe, maybe it's a discrepancy. Maybe it's not. But I, I think and today he would suffer those exact Is this a direction? I mean, is this a direction that people should be moving in is the critique that yeah. Kanye, you know, Mel Gibson should have been held to a higher standard then and perhaps should still be held to a higher standard now as his career has largely rebounded? Or is it that banks and these kind of organizations just stay I mean, out I, of these kind of culture wars? I, I do have a sort of, you know, you can appreciate the art while thinking the artist is reprehensible kind of attitude. I think you can have that attitude for Kanye. I think you could still enjoy his music. You're free to do so. I probably wish he would just focus on creating more of it. Similarly, Mel Gibson is obviously repulsive. Um, I don't care for him as an actor. I love his film Apocalypto. is one of my favorite movies of all time, as I've said. I think it's fantastic. Um, I think it should be able to se separate these things from a creative standpoint. And then, yeah, I think it's right to be troubled by Right, the Adidas contract's kind of a different thing. He's a spokesperson. He's a brand ambassador yeah. for it. Kanye is. Yeah. You, you can understand them wanting to part with someone who is, you know, who is now several times gone out of his way. This isn't just, oh, I screwed up. I said something I shouldn't have. Said. I'm sorry. He's he's continuing this. For sure. Um, that's different than the the financial institution, yeah. which doesn't really have a uh, have a a message or, right. uh, or expressing an editorial view yeah, or something. Amtrak not going to let uh, Kanye right, take the train right, because he's right. anti-Semitic. Although people often right, people often bring up the Amtrak thing. It is Amtrak does throw off like aggressive passengers. Well, like sure, if you if, you're, if you don't follow the rules of Amtrak, political, you get thrown off. Right. Right. I, I know because I wasn't super happy about the mask rules. <laughs> the oh Amtrak. goodness gracious! Speaking before from you, experience. Before you roll your eyes at me, no, I've never been <laughs> never been thrown off of Amtrak, etc. Uh, that was someone else. As of this recording, Ye has not yet responded to the Adidas decision. We'll continue to report on any more developments, more rising after this.